So Jordan Peterson just lost in court, which was expected, but for different reasons than you might be thinking. Basically, last November, the College of Psychologists of Ontario ordered Jordan Peterson to take a remedial program on professionalism in public statements because of his tweets and statements on podcasts. Peterson then challenged this decision of the College of Psychologists in court, and the Ontario court now rejected Peterson's challenge. But it was obvious he was going to lose, and not because of what he said, but more so because challenging the decision of regulators is extremely difficult. What Jordan Peterson asked the court to do is called a judicial review in Canada, which is when courts review the decisions of administrative bodies. And as long as the judges found that the college's decision was reasonable, even if they personally disagreed with it, Jordan Peterson was going to lose. The judges found that the decision was reasonable because it balanced Peterson's right to freedom of expression with the college's objectives as a regulator. Because the college didn't stop Peterson from expressing his views, he wasn't even disciplined, he was just told to take a program. The judges also said it was reasonable for the college, as an expert body for psychologists, to be concerned that Peterson's statements could undermine public trust in the profession. Do you have something to say that you're not saying? If, if you do, then it's your fault. This is your fault. It's your problem. And you might say, well, I'm too afraid to talk. It's like, fair enough. How afraid are you not to talk? You know, people say to me frequently, they compliment me on my bravery. And I think, you don't understand. I'm not brave. I don't, I don't like conflict. I'm way more afraid of losing control of my tongue than I am of the consequences of saying what I have to say. Because I know what happens when we allow other people to control our tongues. It's not good.